What just happened there? Well, that's the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the change in wave frequency during a relative motion between a wave source and its observer. The vehicle produces a sound that is perceived to have a higher pitch when it's approaching the observer because the wavelength between the observer and the object is compressed, therefore increasing its frequency. In comparison, the sound is perceived to have a lower pitch when it's moving away from the observer because the wavelength between the observer and the object is stretched, thus decreasing its frequency. Aside from sound waves, the Doppler effect can also be observed in light waves. The blue shift and red shift describes how light shifts towards the shorter or longer wavelength as the object moves closer or far away from the observer. Edwin Hubble observes that the objects in space are moving towards the red end of the spectrum, which means that the galaxy, stars, and planets are moving away from us. By 1929, they formulated what became known as the Hubble's Law. Hubble's Law basically states that the greater the distance of a galaxy from ours, the faster it recedes. Now, what exactly does this tell us about the universe? There were two models proposed to account for an expanding universe. One was called the Steady State Model, a view that the universe is always expanding but maintaining a constant average density. The Steady State Model believes in no beginning or end in time or from any point of space within the universe. The other less popular model at that time was the Big Bang model. Simply stated that given an expanding universe, if we reverse the flow of time, there should be a point in time and space where and when everything was so densely compressed into what we have accustomed to call the singularity. Some 13.8 billion years ago, this singularity collapsed and expanded into a universe we now know and live in. As more scientific observations came to light, the Big Bang model came to be the more accepted paradigm by which to look at the origins of the universe. This is why Edwin Hubble's observations became a crucial piece of evidence for a theory that explained how the universe, and well, literally everything that ever existed, came to be. The next time we experience this, may we be reminded of how we were pointed to this, and ultimately, to this.